So I told you guys, I have a son, right? So if you look up at the boy, you see my boy Jaden. He taught me how to overcome fear in life. Because when he was born, he was born fearless. And it reminded me how I was when I was a kid. And a lot of parents can tell you the same thing. When you were a kid, you were fearless. You were running around the house, climbing up on top of couches and just jumping off, most of you. For reals, y'all were crazy. Y'all fall down, you get right back up. You were just like this boy, check this out. This is how we all were running through life when we were a kid. We were just happy-go-lucky. Look at this. I don't even think he knows where he was going, but he was happy going there. Look at him. And then life happened. But he laughs about it. He gets back up. And then life happens. You want the run back? We got the run back one time. Yo, he's totally okay, so you can laugh at it. My question is, where did he think he was going, right? Like, he was really going there. He got the arm going, too. Life. Wham. Clap once if you can hear me. Yo, this boy's fearless. He fails forward and he fails fast. He gets right back up and he keeps going. And I hope to keep that instilled in him. Because that's what's gonna make him successful. I realized the other day, like I speak at all these conferences and I meet all these successful people. And I realized the other day, I was like, successful people are like little kids. They remind me of my son. They're just consistent, persistent, relentless. Some of you have little brothers and sisters. You know how it is. They ask questions over and over and over. They do things over and over and over. And to you, it's annoying, right? But to them, that's how they learn. My son, when he was like one years old, he used to wake up every morning, climb up on top of the couch and just jump off. He had a Superman cape, he wore it every single day and he jumped off. He thought he was Superman. And then one day, he wakes up before everybody else, nobody's around, he climbs up on top of the couch and he jumps off. Now you could imagine, you already know what happened. He hit the ground, crying. This was probably the biggest failure of his life at that point, right? So I hear him crying, I run into the living room, I expect to see him crying on the ground. He's crying, but he's climbing back up on top of the couch. I'm like, is he crazy? Is he gonna do it again? What do you think? Yes. Absolutely. With tears in his eyes too, okay? The man's getting to the edge of the couch, he's literally wiping tears away. And then right before he jumps, he looks at me, he makes eye contact with me, and he goes, uh. That's all he said, because he couldn't talk yet, so just, uh. But I understood it, he was like, where were you, bro? Are you gonna catch me? And in that moment, I realized something, and I've been a public speaker since I was a kid, so I look at everything as a speech. I was like, oh my gosh, my son just learned something very important from failure. He learned that sometimes you have to reach out and ask for help. It might not sound like a crazy, profound lesson to you guys, but some of us are still out there suffering in silence by ourselves because we're too scared to reach out and ask for help. So I don't want you to have that fear of rejection. We have to overcome that fear barrier in life in order to get connected today. And maybe it does take being consistent, persistent, and relentless. That's what it takes to be successful. Successful people have just mastered the art of starting over. They go from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm. That's how I believe that we were all wired since we were little kids. We were all wired to win. We go against our natural wiring when we have a negative fear of failure. 